Then you had an amazing Christmas holiday and you're probably thinking, well, why on earth am I back at school? Well, for me, that question I was asking myself on Monday, you know, on the way into school, there were two kids, like really young kids, year nines, I think, and they were discussing their path to university. They were discussing what they needed to do to get into certain universities. That was really inspiring straight away. Before I walked in, I walked in with a smile on my face. I've been running Gorilla Physics. I've been doing this YouTube channel for almost five years now, but five years in February. So this is 500 sheets of paper. And if there are a million sheets of paper, that would be 100 meters tall. I'm coming up for a million views. A million's quite a big number. <laughs> if there are a million sheets, you'd need 2,000 reams. And this is five centimeters tall, so a million sheets of paper would be 100 meters tall. By the time lunchtime rolled around, we'd had these fascinating discussions and I was already back involved and I was already back interested and I knew exactly why I was doing it. But why do I do this? Why do I bother with this YouTube channel? Because I want to help more people. I want to help out as many people as possible. So if you think that's you, make sure you're subbed up and make sure you look out for the new posts that I do all the time to try and help you learn. That's a big milestone. That's pretty massive. It's taken quite a long time. It's taken a lot of hard work, but uh, I really appreciate every single one of those views. In fact, if I break that down, there is on average every single person that watches my channel, every individual person that watches my channel watches about two videos. So that is half a million people have watched my YouTube channel. This is one of my favorite books. This is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. And it is half a million words. Half a million people is quite a number of people. <laughs> What about you guys? Why on earth should you put this hard work into your studies? Well, whether you like it or not, GCSE A-level exams, they are coming. They are going to happen to you. Why could just be about that, but why do you want those qualifications? Why do you want to study so hard to actually get that bit of paper with the grade, whatever your target grade is? You know, if your target's a five or a nine, whatever it is, that grade is going to show to other people in the future, whether you want to be in physics or not, that's going to show to other people that you can work hard, that you can commit to something and you can pull something off. You can put in the time and effort it takes to pass exams. So for that simple reason of actually just having something which is irrefutable proof that you are a hard working person, that is going to make you an employable person, that is going to make you more likely to have those opportunities in the future. But really, this is physics. My channel is all about physics. I'm a physics teacher and this is the hardest but also the most fascinating subject. Then in my year 11 lesson, we were planning for a debate that we're gonna have, what to do about the UK's electricity generation. Then in my year 13 lesson, we started talking about why Jupiter has the strongest magnetic field, even though it doesn't have an iron core like planet Earth does. Jupiter is a giant spinning dynamo and it essentially has a weather system which is like a, a massive storm, it's ionized air, it's like storm clouds in the sky. So that's a big current flowing all around Jupiter's atmosphere and currents have magnetic fields around them. That's why I teach, you know, I'm a head of science, I, I teach physics and I love my subject. So enjoy your studies. When you are putting in that extra time studying, working hard for those exams, don't forget you are studying something that is fascinating. And all of your subjects, all of your subjects have been planned to teach you things that are really important and that are really interesting. People care about every one of these subjects deeply, so find the interest in them. All right, thanks a lot and stay tuned. When I started out, I didn't think that it would ever get to this size. It's still not massive. I still want to grow. I still want to be a bigger. I still want to help out more people. So maybe you have ideas for me. Maybe you have things that you would like to see more or less of. Please do leave a comment and let me know what you think and how you think I can get to the next level. Thanks very much for your support.